mastermind groups. What are they really today on the Daily Ish Show? Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. Hey everybody, I think I might have uh, muted myself. I didn't realize that. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, mastermind groups and why, what are they? What are they really? So we're going to be talking about that here today. I don't know how that got muted. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so today in the Daily Show, obviously this is a show not just for rental housing providers, but anybody that is looking to be time wealthy and looking for more white space on their calendar. Many small business owners and entrepreneurs out there it's the whole reason you get into the into the business, right? It's the whole reason you get into the struggle and start the hustle and all this. But unfortunately, so many people uh, get stuck in the operation of their business, and that's what we're trying to help here with uh, hopefully some helpful advice. My name is Mark Dolfini, your host and landlord coach. It's good to see all of you. So today, let's go ahead and get started. Mastermind groups. What are they really, and what are they about? What are they even? What are they, and specifically, what aren't they? And um, I'll tell you, when I first heard about mastermind groups, um, of course, they were made very popular by Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. And um, that was a, that book, it took me a while to read that book because it was just, it was very abstract at the time when I was reading it. In fact, I opened that book a couple of different times and just did, couldn't quite seem to get through it. But uh, that's the, that's the interesting thing about mastermind groups is they're they're different. They are very different than what you might be what you might think. They first let's let's talk about what they aren't. Mastermind groups are not group coaching. They're not like group therapy sessions. They're they're, they're just uh, they're they are specifically where it's not where one individual is standing up and talking to a group of individuals. That seems to be um, what some people think that mastermind groups are. Um, really it's, uh, what they are about and they don't necessarily have to be formal groups. Although I would say they would probably be more helpful as uh, if they were structured where you did have set times, you had set rules and, and, and start times and stop times and things like that. I've been involved in several mastermind groups throughout my professional career and uh, whether we called them a mastermind group or not. Um, I, I definitely have been involved in several of them. So what are they? Well, the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like a group accountability uh, partners. Let's call it that way, like group accountability partners. Because when you have a group of individuals, and generally what I have, what I have noticed is when you're in a mastermind setting, a mastermind is really where you have a group of people that come together on a set schedule, whether it's once a week, once a month, once a quarter, um, you know, once a year or whatever. I think once a year would probably be too far out. But, you know, once a quarter would probably be enough for some high level, high purpose stuff. Um, but it just depends. It depends on what you're wanting to get out of the mastermind and what you're hoping to do. Once a week might be too often for some people, um, but it depends on the nature of where you're at, where you're at in life, where you're at in business, where you're trying to get out of the mastermind group. So I can tell you my first mastermind group that I was involved in, we didn't really have a name for it, but I know there was a lot of, there was four of us, uh, sometimes five of us that would join every now and again, a person would come in or out, but um, it was pretty much our, the core four of us. And we would meet and we would often talk about sales type stuff. We would often talk about um, you know, business type stuff in general. And each, each of us would have a turn, right? Roughly 10 to 15 minutes. And we would meet for about, oh, maybe an hour, maybe an hour, hour and a half, something like that. But we were very specific and we would do it. You know, we were very intentional about it. And we would meet for about, you know, roughly an hour, sometimes 90 minutes, sometimes it would go a little shorter, but that's about it. And we would come to the group with whatever we felt we needed to work on. So if things were going well, we might celebrate that with the group. If things were going rough, um, we would ask the group for input in terms of what it was that we were we were uh, uh, we were learning or what whatever thoughts that we might have to help them out. Um, right. So if they were struggling, we would pour into them. Or if they were you know do, going well, we would celebrate with them. And that's really the basis of the mastermind group. So the where 
you know, if you have a shorter period of time, you know, each person might only get 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, sometimes people would forfeit their time because, you know, the, the, the other person needed more, you know, pouring into, or they really didn't have much, you know, to go on. So that sort of thing. So it was really interesting that, uh, of, of how they work and they can be structured really pretty much any way. There's only no one right way to do it. I mean, there's definitely wrong ways to do it, but I think that the right way to do it is to keep, um, you know, keep it, it, it a intentional time where they meet, where you are meeting, whether it's once a week, once a month, once, uh, once every two weeks, once every t- couple of months, whatever it is. The other thing I think is that, uh, it really helps if there's kind of a facilitator, like the lead person is going to keep the time, if you will, make sure that the tra- that we don't wander too far off, that we're actually making sure that we're answering the person's question, that we're actually helping them out the way that they can be helped. Now, um, there's another mastermind group that I belong to that is um, that I pay for, that I'm that I'm part of, and that is also where my coach is based out of. And the people in this room are very high level players. I mean, these are people that make, that are making very substantial money, very successful in business, um, very successful in life, but they're struggling in one area or another, trying to keep the balls, all the balls in the air and keeping it all, uh, all, um, all even, right. It can be a challenge at times. So it doesn't matter if they're making two figures or seven figures, we all have very similar problems. So it's really interesting, and that's the real powerful of the mastermind. So what you might be thinking is, okay, so let me get this straight. So I would have a turn in the hot seat, for example, for whether it's – if it's a 90-minute meeting, you might get 15 minutes. If it's a two-day meeting, you might get an hour, you know, like uh, over two days, you know, where people are pouring into you and that sort of thing. So you present your your whatever it is, your problem, your thing you want to celebrate, you know, whatever it is that's going on, and everybody – you know, pours into you. They, they give you advice. They ask you questions. They, you know, get you thinking in different ways. And that is truly a huge benefit, but that's not the only benefit. The other benefit that you'll get is something that I didn't quite understand until much later. And that's when you get to contribute to somebody else, of course that builds them up, but it also builds you up, but you also have to be really clear about what it is that you're trying to pour into them about. If you're if you're not if you're kind of 50/50 on something, you know, you really have to understand what it is, you know, what what it is you're talking about. But the real benefit is not just in, to be in contribution to someone else, but it's also when you get to listen to someone else being in contribution to another person. So maybe you're just the observer at this point and you're listening to someone else getting poured into and they're getting really good advice from someone else across the room. That right there is probably the real power of a mastermind group, especially when you're around people where you are skewing the average down in the room, right? You're the lowest common denominator in the room. That's when you're in the right room. That's when you are building, you're going to build yourself up. It's like networking up. It's like punching above your weight class. And that is the real benefit to having a mastermind or being involved in a mastermind. So um, I, as most, some of you know, I also host not just in addition to my inner circle coaching and I have a mastermind that's included in the inner circle coaching. So all of us get together once a quarter. In fact, we're meeting next week, um, for the, for the first time in a couple months and, uh, we get to pour into one another. And that is uh, really, really, um, I'm, I'm really super forward looking forward to this. I learn so much. And even though I'm the facilitator, I learn so much. I don't get a turn, but that's okay because it's my mastermind that I'm hosting. So I want everybody else to get the benefit from that. So if you are interested, um, just wanted to have a conversation more about it. How do you join it? You know, that sort of thing. I am taking applications. Um, just go to landlordcoach.com forward slash connect and I'll be happy to have that conversation with you. So um, yeah, but if you if you are not involved in a, com- in a mastermind group, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to look into one. And, um, you know, I, I think the, the best ones that you're going to get is the ones that you pay for. And uh, otherwise, um, you know, if you, you don't pay, you don't value what you don't pay for. Right. So that's uh, that's the ultimate truth of it. Anyway. All right, everybody. Have an awesome rest of your day. Have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you guys next time. Please be sure to place a value on your free time, because if you don't, someone else will. Most important, there is no amount of money that will make time irrelevant. Take good care, guys. We'll see you.